the answer is no. Uh, time will tell. Hoodie is not hoodieing. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Love is good, isn't it? Late in life lesbian. Loki the best. Whoa, oh. it's huge. Are you kidding me? Sue me. I have a date tonight. If that's what you're into. I took my journal Great. and wrote that song for me. Morning friends, welcome back. I'm officially back home. This week has gone so quickly. It is Thursday today. I have no idea where Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday went. It's just one of those weeks where I'm kind of like mad about how fast the time is going. I thought maybe starting this vlog would be better late than never. So happy Thursday. I have spent all morning. I woke up so early to read book club book because I'm about to head to book club and I still had three hours left of the book to go. I hate myself for leaving it to the last minute every single time. Will I learn my lesson? Uh, time will tell. But I finished it maybe 20 seconds ago. So now I'm gonna head to book club. I'm having a big day at Lang's house today. Today, book club we're doing business vision boards and i think lang is doing some other work stuff with us i also have a few pr packages at lang's house from when i was away so i'm so excited i think there's a package from billy eilish there not billy eilish herself but universal music and i'm so excited i have a date tonight <laughs> which ah! I'm mainly scared about it because I like have such a social day today and then I don't get to just relax and chill at home tonight it's a go out and put your best foot forward kind of night but it is what it is it it happens to the best of us i think i'm always like oh what if i just say all this stupid stuff before a date to people and then i meet my wife and then it's on record that i said stupid stuff before i met them anyway that's me being dramatic obviously i think after tonight's date i'm gonna take a little bit of a, a break from dating because i think i'm genuinely like burnt out from it which sounds stupid but if you're dating i feel like surely i'm not the only one who feels like that it's exhausting and especially when it's little to no reward <laughs> time after time i just need to I just need a second to myself. Anyway, I'm late. I need to go. Gina Richards way. Who? Who you? Who you? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. Ah! Uh, my gift to you. Who's excited to go to Four Seasons? Me. Orlando. Me. <laughs> Whoa. And I love Never. your mom. Surely everyone it's thought it was that. The season of the and now. All right, guys. Some people thought soccer mom. Really? Oh, is that the lyric? <laughs> Books. Growing Sideways is like the song written for my heart and soul, actually. Oh, I really Noah took, over that. took my journal Great. and wrote that song for me. <laughs> wow! How fun! Oh, wow. oh yeah! Whoa, Whoa, it's huge! You're so silly. It's currently Saturday. I feel like I have been. <laughs> like the worst version of myself all week i've just been going through it like i have no reason to be going through it but i am so that's where we're at currently yep if i seem low that is why however i'm in a new environment i'm currently at my brother and sister-in-law's place because i'm house sitting for them for the next week and a half this is the new spot welcome to the kitchen this morning i dropped them off at the airport at 7 a.m on the way home from the airport i went to woolies and did a grocery shop of just a few things i needed i'm gonna give you a haul i did go into woolworths with my aldi bag sue me hello everyone there are three dogs here with me so it's gonna be a lot for me but also you i got half a loaf of bread i got finger buns because i don't have worst finger buns like low-key the best and i had one at a bakery the other day and i just forgot how good finger buns were so this is gonna be my dessert of choice for the next four days i got a packet of pasta for when i'm lazy those pastas literally taste so good i grew up on them and i don't want to hear any smack about them because nothing warms my heart and soul more than a packet of that pasta i got some tomatoes some carrots some lettuce i got a season a salad so i could just chuck chicken in this and not have to think got some cheese and some taco seasoning i got some oats because i ran out I'm so excited to have my oats i'm so hungry for me i just got chicken breast mince i also brought like pasta pasta sauce all the meals i've been having at home i just did that <laughs> all the meals i've been having at home but just cooking them here i also saw this and i don't oh i was just about to say i don't think it's new but it's new to me it has a new on the packet so ignore that aero milky bar you're kidding should we try some now Aero, I think, is slowly becoming one of my favorite chocolates. Yellow Lauren Aero Milky Bar. That's kind of gorgeous, isn't it? I don't know if I can taste any of the white chocolate. Mm, it's pretty good. I feel like the more you eat, the more white chocolate you get. Which is kind of giving top deck once it's all like melted in your mouth. I need to cook my oats for breakfast because I'm starving. I don't even know what the time is. It's 9.55. I've been awake since 6 a.m. and I haven't eaten, so I have to go. I have to go. back 
in the kitchen. Can I put you there? It's steamy. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'll just put you back here. All I've done since I ate breakfast is try to read my book and fail miserably because I could not stop scrolling on my phone. And now I just like have a bit of a headache and like feel a bit shit. <laughs> I feel like TikTok is so good until it hits the point where it's just not good anymore. Um, and I've hit that point. So I'm having lunch and then I'm putting my phone away. I'm going to watch a movie, I think. This feels like such a true Saturday and I love it. Also, the weather is 10 out of 10 today and I'm not used to having like a balcony, a backyard. This is Winnie and I's backyard for the week. Absolutely gorgeous. These two are sun baking. I don't even know where Winston is. Oh, there he is. Look at Winston. Can you see him through the window? Full spread. No dignity left. What a guy. I saw this movie on TikTok ages ago and I thought that it was a new release coming out soon and I was like, oh, I can't wait for it to come out. And then I saw a TikTok today saying that it literally came out in like 2022. So I don't know how I've missed it, but it's on binge. It's called Am I Okay? What's her name? Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades of Grey. She's the main character, late in life lesbian movie. I don't know if it's gonna end happily or not. If it doesn't end happily, I could potentially cry. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this while I eat my lunch. And I don't even know what I am. <laughs> so what they don't ever like date boys i mean men i don't know i don't know if you can tell what i've just woken up from a nap <laughs> i never nap so i'm really confused at what just happened i do kind of feel phenomenal for it though i had things i wanted to do this afternoon i know i'm running late can we all just collectively appreciate how good serena carpenter's new song is <laughs> Will I ever stop wearing this hat? The answer is no. I need my puffer because it is cold. I made it to the shops with 20 minutes to spare. So we're off to run some errands. And when I say errands, I mean not errands at all because they're fun things to buy. Erin's was extremely successful, actually. I was in and out in 10 minutes. Like, that's pretty impressive. I went to QBD because Kmart, Target, Big W have been sold out of this every single time I've gone to try and buy it in the last few weeks. I'm reading it on my Kindle, but it's just one of those series that I do, unfortunately, need the physical copy of as well. I'm actually filming a separate Throne of Glass reading vlog of me reading the whole series. I thought it would be a little bit more fun so I can just, like, label all of my thoughts in that and not annoy anyone in my weekly vlogs who don't care about it. I also went to the chemist and just picked up some skincare classic face wash and moisturizer ran out at the same time i use la roche posay almost everything this is a cicloplast balm i don't know what i have because no one like a doctor i went to a dermatologist no one could tell me what it actually was but i had like this face not like rash but like a skin condition like eczema kind of vibe thing and this is the only thing that got rid of it and therefore i refuse to use anything else for the time being because i'm too scared and i love it so that's like my 10th repurchase of that and then this is the face wash that i've used for a while now i I think this is my like third or fourth repurchase but i'm actually gonna head off to go and watch my soccer team not my soccer team my old soccer team play their soccer game tonight they're playing at five so i am gonna be running late but i just thought it'd be nice to go and see all my old teammates play seeing them play it's like very bittersweet on one hand it's so nice to see them but on the other hand it makes me so sad that i'm not playing with them and it makes me itch like wanting to play but it'll be really good to see them so if mosca put on her story today she found this playlist of 2010 vibes i have been playing it all day oh wow. Okay, I just got home from supper. We lost, unfortunately, but it's feeding time in the zoo. <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming. No, no, out of the kitchen. But I actually feel like I'm feeding a farm animal. Dinner. Yes. Good job. It's pretty solid. Tell me why I had a nap today and I'm still tired. The club can't even handle me right now. That throwback playlist has got the better of me, unfortunately. I was just scrolling on TikTok. <gasps> Gracie Abrams just put Close to You on Spotify as a new single that'll be in the album with Risk. Sabrina Carpenter and Gracie Abrams both releasing singles before they release the album. Like, I'm unwell, actually. Really unwell. I just had to quickly tell you before I get in the shower. I'm about to blast on my speaker, so...
Say hi everyone. Oh, he's so tired. I'm playing with these besties so hard. <laughs> There it is. You can go back to bed. But I just got back from my morning walk. I didn't take any of the dogs because I felt like I couldn't take three and it felt rude if I just took Winston. <laughs> but I had a really nice time. I never walk alone without Winston and I hate to say it. It was really relaxing. Really felt like I was taking some time for myself. But before I head out for the day, I wanted to quickly thank Case to Fire for sponsoring this weekly vlog. I have a big package of a bunch of things to show you. I've had this phone case on for like maybe a week now and I'm so obsessed with it. The cherries. Are you kidding me? I don't know what it is about cherries recently but this phone case just makes me feel really cool and hot and i'm here for it actually it's mag safe as well which is a 10 out of 10 however the best thing about this phone case i wasn't sure whether i was going to love or hate this feature but for the week that i've had this phone case on i've very very quickly become obsessed with it the ring around the camera actually flicks out is that can you see that <laughs> and it's a little stand ready yep Yep. This isn't really big and bulky and annoying. It just looks normal. But it doubles as a little stand. <gasps> and I'm always walking around my house. My phone is always following me and it always has either a YouTube vlog playing. I've got Modern Family on. I've got Vampire Diaries on. I'm always just watching something on my phone. Whether I'm like really paying attention to it or not. My phone is there watching it. And I'm always just leaning it up against things. And it's sliding off and it's never staying still and it's annoying. So like I'm not even being dramatic when I say this has changed my life. It is so handy. But I've still got a few more things I wanted to show you. So many cute prints. This is the second one that I... I chose it's so cute and again has the little stand they sell screen protectors oh lens protectors it's a little screen protector for your camera lens they also have a bunch of phone charms it has bows on it adorable and i love these things what are they called body straps for your phone for concerts festivals this one is hardcore that is thick this little thing in your phone case so then that's hanging out the bottom this clips onto that you can just go around your neck just hang like that well this one's really long so that could be a crossbody moment if that's what you're into like that if you just want hands free no worries i just love case to buy and i haven't had a cracked phone screen in so many years and i think that comes down to me using case to buy cases non-stop we'll leave a link down below if you wanted to shop anything from case to buy anything that i showed you including the ring stand case i actually don't know how i lived my life without this <laughs> so dramatic but i really mean it so i'll leave my discount code on the screen i'll also put it in the description box down below along with the link if you wanted to shop but i'm gonna pack up my computer my bag my water bottle everything i think i need and i'm gonna head out for some coffee i'm gonna do a little bit of a throwback moment and go to one of my old zarafas and get a coffee and edit there i used to do that all the time like honestly three to four times a week i would be in a zarafas editing i just loved it so much and i don't feel like i do it nearly as much on the gold coast and i don't know why i don't know what it is about being a member of this house right now but everything is just feeling really nostalgic and so going to Zarafas and editing is a really nostalgic thing for me to do so I'm gonna go do that and really enjoy myself honestly Up at the gym, had a phenomenal time. The one thing I miss most about moving away is training with Grace. If I could just have that on the Gold Coast, my life would be perfect actually. It's 4.12. I'm starving for dinner. <laughs> but I think I'm still off 10,000 steps for the day. 6,400. So I'm only just past halfway. So I think I'm going to go home and go for a little afternoon walk. I feel like I need some a bit more fresh air today. Um, I feel so pale. Look at my arms. I don't know why that shocks me because I obviously don't tan in the sun because that's ridiculous. And I haven't fake tanned in like, pff, I want to say a year and a half, two years. So I don't know why that's shocking. But anyway, Grace and I are training again tomorrow morning at 8am at our like OG, OG old gym which I love that gym way more. 
than the one we were just at. But I'm so excited for that. Good old leg session. I think I really need to go really light and easy. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to walk afterwards. Honestly, that's the part I hate about getting back into weightlifting is that you have to go, you could always like go heavier, but you want to start lighter. Just so you A, don't injure yourself, B, so that you can so that you can walk the next day and then continue on weightlifting for the rest of the week. So I think I'll be a bit humbled tomorrow, but I'm excited. Everything in me is wanting GYG for dinner, but I have food at home, so I shouldn't. We'll see how I feel after my walk. Look at the sunset right now. I'm just on my afternoon walk. You're actually kidding me. That's not real. Oh my God. <sighs> Life is good, isn't it? Hi. Hi. Hey, you two. Hi, <laughs> Let's check the step count. I just walked and then gave up, so I don't know. Oh, 9,800. Kitching. I still can't get over how gorgeous sunset was tonight, but I had dinner. I watched a movie and I've just gotten out of the shower. I've been loving my movies the last two days. I never updated you on the Dakota Johnson movie I watched yesterday. I liked it. I think that if you're gay, you should definitely watch it. I just feel like it could have been longer. It kind of felt rushed, like classic the best friends in the movie have a fight at each other and it all just like came out of nowhere, felt kind of unresolved. But a good ending. I love watching another late in life lesbian figure things out. Very relatable. Really enjoyed. We'll probably watch again, to be honest. And then tonight, I got a TikTok on my few page for the movie Book Smart. And way back in the day, Rachel and I actually went to an early screening of it. And I don't really remember what it was about, but the TikTok I saw made me really want to watch it. So I watched that tonight and thoroughly enjoyed. Like, we'll definitely watch again, maybe kind of often. This is how crazy my internalized homophobia was was back when I was in the closet. I didn't even remember that one of the main characters was a lesbian because I think I've seen it and gone, well, that's not allowed. Out of my mind. You've, you've been blacklisted out of my mind, unfortunately. But it's such a funny movie and I really thoroughly enjoyed myself. I was actually laughing out loud. <laughs> lolling if you will at some of the jokes and it was so funny and i really enjoyed it entering my movie era and i'm kind of here for it i dermabladed my face today like shaved it and i love the feeling of my face afterwards it's so satisfying like rubbing skincare on it just feels so nice i'm obsessed i have the photo shoot next week <laughs> i'm so nervous and i wanted a fresh clear face for it so i actually just can't do anything in my life at the moment without my brain running back to my photo shoot next week and how nervous i am for it like it's all well and good being in front of the camera when i'm in charge being in front of the camera when someone else is taking photos professional photos in particular whoa not my area of expertise you're on my lip balm really running out and i can't actually live without it it's the summer fridays lip balm i will be repurchasing gorgeous i did completely forget that i had a car appointment tomorrow morning um so i was meant to gym with grace that's where we'd thrown out the window i'm going to bed on a sunday night not knowing what my monday's looking like and that's making me pretty uncomfortable i don't like it at all how good are my pajamas obsessed actually all right look who's coming in hi boys welcome to my bedroom <laughs> I've actually been sleeping so well recently. And you know what I think it is? Well, first of all, I brought my pillow with me for this house sitting journey. That's been helping. Second of all, I don't want this to touch my skincare. Why do I feel like this hoodie is not hoodieing? Oh, I was talking about sleeping. I listen to brown noise when I fall asleep. This lighting is so bad. Oh no. I listen to brown noise when I sleep and normally I have a two hour episode that I listen to on Spotify and I set it just to stop once the episode is finished. However, after I shared a bed with Kirsty in Adelaide, she has kids and so she's used to having the brown noise on all night. And so she got me onto a 12 hour episode of brown noise. So I put that on at night and then I just turn it off when I wake up in the morning. However, I have never been able to sleep in in my entire life. Like once I'm awake, I can't then get back to sleep. Ever since listening to the brown noise when I wake up, I wake up open my eyes. I can't stop myself from not falling back to sleep. I'm even getting up, peeing, hopping back into bed, falling asleep. And that has never happened to me ever. And it's kind of changed my life kind of in a bad way, but equally I love it so much. Last night I actually set it to start. I like dragged it along so it was playing for the exact amount of time that I was asleep and it would turn off once my alarm was going off. That was 10 out of 10, so I might do that again tonight. But if you sleep with brown noise and haven't done that, would highly recommend, I think. Anyway, as I was saying, I haven't journaled in so long and I can tell, my brain can tell that I haven't. I also haven't had a therapy session in a while because I couldn't book in, I was away and then my now my therapist is moving clinics. It was a bit of a like changeover period. It's fine, but I can tell. So 
I feel like there are so many thoughts in my brain that's like making me procrastinate journaling. Do you know what I mean? Like I have so much to say that I know I'm not gonna be able to write it all down right here, right now, but I need to stop using that as an excuse and just write down what I can and then leave the rest for later. I have like a bunch of photos and wristbands and like boarding passes and stuff that I've kept that I can use sometime, but I think I just need to write. Yeah, like all this Melbourne and Adelaide stuff, but I just need to write down some, some thoughts, you know? Oh, I love my journal so much. We're already halfway through the year and it's already crazy to like look back at things I've written in here. I'm just reading my roughly year goals and I put go on lots of dates. Babes, you have and nothing's happening. So maybe my Taylor Swift pages will never not be crazy to me. Also, I kind of stopped getting upset over surprise songs that we lost after the Australian leg because we're obviously not going to get them now. So it doesn't matter as much. However, she's in Edinburgh right now and she sang Crazier from the Hannah Montana movie and that hurt a little bit extra and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Ah, okay. I need to stop reminiscing. Put some blank pages. We're ready. I'm going to put some music on and then I'm going to read my book and then I'm going to head to bed and that'll be my night. But thank you for spending my weekend with me. I really appreciate it. It was a bit of a solo weekend with not a lot going on. So your company really, really meant a lot. And I appreciate it more than you know. Thank you.